This Saturday is National Donor Day, and New Mexico Donor Services is calling attention to New Mexico's organ waiting list, which has one of the country's highest rates of minorities waiting for a life-saving organ transplant. And joining us this morning is Maria Sanders with the New Mexico Donor Services and Phil Candelaria, who's on that donor list. Good morning to both of you. Thanks so much for being with us today. How many people, Maria, are on the list in New Mexico? Right now we have about 650 people in New Mexico waiting for a transplant and over 103,000 across the United States. And most of the people in New Mexico are minorities. Why is that? Uh, we have a tremendous need for kidney donation in New Mexico. Mm -hmm. Minorities have the highest rates of diabetes and high blood pressure, which causes kidney failure. Most of the time, it's actually a condition that has become undiagnosed. Mm -hmm. It could be years that a person has high blood pressure and diabetes, they just don't know about it. By the time they feel ill enough to go to the doctor and worry about it, the kidneys have already started to fail. And the percentage is about 78, 80% in New Mexico are minorities on that yes, list, is that right? right? Phil, you need a kidney transplant, is that correct? That true, yes. And you've been on the list uh, how long? Just over a year now. That has to be a traumatic experience for you, isn't it? Yeah, it actually is, and, and you know, it does get tiring sometimes, but, you know, there's there's light at the end of the tunnel. You really you believe that and uh, that there, there's hope there out there for you? There definitely is. I agree with that 100%. And it's a waiting list, but, yeah, there, it's it's a good waiting list. You uh, are going to dialysis today. so yeah, as a matter of fact, straight from here. And, uh, you know, if you had a chance, and you do right now, to tell people about uh, maybe helping out, I mean, you know, you, you have to go through a process to find a match, isn't that right? Yeah, yeah, it starts all the way with a blood match, and then it just goes from there, tissue matching, and then various sort of tests that they want you to be absolutely healthy on. Now, Maria, as, as far as if, if somebody's out there uh, waiting, I, I guess there are, there are two ways to uh, to get the kidneys or, or the different organs donated. W one, if you die, unfortunately, and, and you make that request, but, but people can also help out in other ways, too. Is that correct? Uh, yes, of course. Um, a person can be a living donor, and uh, like Phil had some uh, family members that were being evaluated to be living donors. So anybody who is willing to be uh, a living donor, donate one of their kidneys, can do so as long as they're healthy and be able to do so. Most people that donate organs donate it after they have passed away, mm -hmm. and that's why we encourage people to put it on their driver's license to be an organ donor. And if people want to know more information, they can contact you. Is that right, your organization? Yes, New Mexico Donor Services and we have our website, donatelifenm.org, or they can call us at 843-7672. And Phil, how are you feeling? I mean, uh, you know, I mean, I know this is, is very rigorous, that everything that you go through, but right now, how are you doing? Well, I'm, I'm doing pretty good. I mean, you know, some people say a lot of age has to do with it, but I feel really good. I have a wonderful wife, a wonderful son, great support, a wonderful family. Um, everything feels good right now. Just a little tiring at times, but I get through it with no problem. Are you optimistic about getting that kidney? Yeah. Definitely. Definitely. Have to Things be. Things are, are happening for a reason, and it's good from here. Uh, do, how many people eventually get the organs they need? Uh, what do you know? Have a percentage One on that? One third of the people on the waiting list do get a transplant. So we need people to donate. Yes, That's the bottom do. line. Maria, Phil, thank you so much for being with us. Good luck to both of you. Thank you. Uh,